It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chavi. So far this year, Luis Campusano leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now, and starting in this one, number 18. What do you got on him, Chris? There's always a bit of a learning curve for rookie pitchers. You've got to get familiar with these big league hitters, and it's more of a chess match, but I think this kid's got good stuff and the Leading potential to be great. Okay, all set to go. Baseman. Here's the veteran second Xander baseman, Xander Bogarts. Bogarts. The pitch. Fly ball down the line, and that will drop foul. And he deals. And that one fouled off. And he'll two. That's the punch out there. And one ball. Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. He's done a great job making contact recently. Currently owns a seven-game hitting streak. There's a strike. Boog, I don't think anyone was shocked when Yamamoto signed with Los Angeles. He joins a long list of pitchers who signed with the Dodgers out of Japan, following in the footsteps of Hideo Nomo, Hiroki Kuroda, and Kenta Maeda. Hard hit left side. Muncie sends it to first. Two up, two down. Let's take a look at the Padres lineup. And a key factor for this club in that leadoff spot, Xander Bogarts. And Boog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. And when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency, that bat stays in the zone for a long time, and he squares up the baseball a lot. That's towards center. Outman on his way over. And the Dodgers are coming up to hit. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium. And today's starter, Joe Musgrove. Well, a very solid ERA last season, just a little over three. And when you've got a guy like that uh, taking the mound for you, the offense is definitely expected to score four runs at least unless they're really struggling. So you know more times than not, when he's on the ball, you're going to win the ball game if you just do your part as an offense. So last year, great year. He wants to repeat that or even improve. And I think there is some room for improvement. He's got good stuff. It's just executing from hitter to hitter. And another okay. ball. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. There's a strike. Two and one. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Let's nice. get the ball by the pitcher. There's a lot of base hits up the middle, no, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Here's Shohei Otani. He's been tearing it up at the plate recently, working on a five-game hitting streak. That misses the zone. 1-0. and oh. Musgrove, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a cutter, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Wouldn't chase that time. 
That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound. He's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Right side, Tatis under it, drops into the glove, and there's one down. Batting third. The Time first to check out the Dodgers lineup. A really frustrating showing for them in their last game. Lots of traffic on the bases, but they left a ton of runners on base. Couldn't cash in their chances, Chris. They had plenty of chances. There's nobody to blame it on but themselves offensively. They just did a poor job converting in those situations. You have to figure out what's your plan going to be. Maybe watch some tape from the last game. Make the adjustments. So if you get those opportunities in this one, you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs. Big stack center field. That's around second, headed for third. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. But he throws on the brakes, gets back to second. That and now it's Gavin Lux. The second baseman. Gavin Lux. In there at the knees. And it's 0-1. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Runners at first and second with one gone here in game one of this three-game set. Off the mark there. Ball one. one, and one. Right through there for a strike. Got away with that one. Left the curveball up a little bit. He's going to have to finish it if it's going to be an effective pitch. The one two battling here as he fouls it away. Hit on the ground might be two. Off balance beat. There's one. And he'll hold on to it, so they get one. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Here's Max Muncie, that funky Muncie. That catches the corner. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Go. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Dodgers strand a couple. We played an inning. No score. Top of the second. And now it's going to be Fernando Tatis Jr. The wide to kick the pitch. And that's in for a strike. Ooh, Tatis is so athletic. He probably could have carved out a career in other sports if he wanted, but he grew up in a baseball family with baseball in his blood. Fouled off. He was late. The wind of the pitch. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Luis Campusano digs in now. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately. Chance to extend that hitting streak to 10. Tatis runs. Strike in there. And it's safe. It's a stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. 
Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. In the air, right field. Hayward makes the catch. Runner tagging for third, and he makes it up to third with one away. That is good. The first base. So digging in, nine. Jake Cronenworth. Jake Cronenworth. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. No score here, but a runner at third with one down. Oh. Next offering is downstairs. One Clyde ball. Washington one with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boob from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers, they work consistently down around the knees and are able to come in and off. That's a base hit as a run scores. And into second with one away. That's a double. Everything came together that, for him. That, Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Now batting jerks in profile. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Hits in each of the last six games. Drifts towards it. Corrals it. Two away down. Stepping in for San Diego, Tuca Pita Marcano. In there at the knees. Going wrong. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. To third, Muncie. Jump throw. They get the out, and that'll do it. Padres with the run scoring double. It's now 1 0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Bottom half of inning number two, and up to the plate is Will Smith. Whoa, and downstairs. Whoa. And there's a foul ball. That one down the line. And they get yeah. the out on Smith. Batting seven. The center fielder. Yay. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. Pitch misses. And that is ball one. Down base is empty. And a swing and a miss there. The hitter early and off balance on that swing. If I'm the pitcher, I'm taking a little bit more off. See if you can get him to chase something in the dirt. On the ground to third. Into the outfield base hit. Didn't try to do too much Manager. with it, just a really no controlled, simple swing. You don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters Manager. trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Nope. That one misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. Tying run is at first. Bottom half of inning number two. There's the strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. That one finds the zone in the count one and two. Got him swinging. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Here's Jason Hayward. First pitch, and he just misses. 
Outman off of first with two away. Just missed. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Two outs. And that one wrapped foul. Here's a 2-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. On the ground at first, oh. and that's just foul. Grinding A-B right here, about to see pitch number 10. Stays alive. This is something else. Running that pitch count off, I can't imagine how frustrating it must be for the pitcher to have so many good pitches spoiled off like this. The 2-2 now. Good job to fight that one off. The 10th foul ball of this at bad. I mean, this is pretty special, folks. Two two now. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Left hand batter waits. Fly ball to right. He's got it, and that is that. One hit, one left. Back here in L.A. Now, Jose Azokar. The wind and the pitch. Right down the chute, and that's strike one. Azokar, in his second season, 27 years old, and he's usually in left field, but today he's patrolling center. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Swings and misses. And one away at the top of the third. Oh, there's a small side of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. One out, base is empty. And it's fouled away. The 0 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Fights it off, he'll see another. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Next offering, popped in the air, right field. Calls it in, two away.
the batter, number seven. Shortstop. Ha Sung Kim, Young the next Kim. up for the Padres. 0 for 1 so far. Fastball for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Down the line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Here comes a pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two outs. Battling here as he fouls it away. And the pitch. High fly ball, right field. Hayward makes his way towards it. He's got it. And that's the third out. And welcome back Lee to the Gaga ballpark. The Ready to go for the last half Not of the inning. Stop. Here's a big power Mookie. threat. Mookie Betts. Yeah. Musgrove back to work. Center field. Azokar makes the catch. One up, one down. Ooh, he was all over that first pitch now fastball. Just, just barely missed it. Man, no, this guy man. was ready to hit. Oh, Shohei Otani up to the dish. He's all for one. In for a strike, and it's all no one. One strike. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. Home run number five on the season, and this game is tied. It's 1 1. So frustrating for any pitcher. Finished outside the zone, and he still managed to get punished with the home run. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And he's already singled in this game. Huh? Right through there for a strike. Oh, well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Freeman hits it in the air. Tatis drifts towards it, hauls it in for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to now really back. drive it. Second baseman. Now it's the second Gavin. baseman, Gavin Lux. Lux. 0 for 1, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. And that's in there for strike one. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. A swing and a soft liner. Whips it to first on the run. And the inning is over. But we're all tied up thanks to this solo homer. All even at one apiece. And we're back, Leading digging in, Manny Machado. The third baseman, number As he turns on the rubber, Manny and with that good live arm Machado. delivers. Slapped foul. Oh. 
And Manny gets a piece. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. Foul ball still low and two. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Lifted in the air, right center field. Hayward sizes this one up. He's got it. And there's one down. Everyday during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Inside, just missed. One and oh. And a foul ball. Bases empty one away. Top half of inning number four. In the air, right field. Hayward snags it for the second out. Now battle. And now the catcher comes up to him. Luis Campusano. Misses inside, and that's ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Two down, nobody on. Out towards right center field. Outman sizing this one up, and that'll do it. We go to the bottom of the fourth, tied 1-1. Back here at Chavez Ravine, Max Dodgers. Muncy at the dish. The third baseman, Max Muncy. Musgrove back to work. And Max. immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. You know, strike. these Dodgers did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the okay. best news yet for this offense. And the righty deals. Got him. And there's one away. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard the to battle. bring that to a halt once you've committed. Yeah. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Smith no, stands in here, ball. takes ball one low. One ball, no strike. All tied up. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And another ball. Next pitch is outside. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Gets under it. And there's two down. The center fielder, number 33. And now the center fielder, Yay. James Outman. One for Outman. one with a single so far. Drive. Oh, and one. He swings and fouls one off.
two outs. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And they'll do it again. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Well, he's having a tough time getting the pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Stays alive. Two out spaces empty. Gets a piece and stays alive. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Ground ball up the middle, and that one handled on the run. Save throw to first. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Protecting with strikes on him and putting the ball in play speaks to cutting down the strikeouts, shortening up with two strikes. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Fastball in for a strike, going one. That's in there. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So no runs here. In a we go to the top of the fifth. And now the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. The pitch. Out in front with the swing. And that is strike one. You know, these Padres, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times. And it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Smith makes the grab one away. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Profar in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering no, is down low. One one. No. And another ball. To the right side, Lux. Gets it to first. And that quickly, two away. Well, he's doing a nice ground job ball. of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Marcano batting for the second time, and that's strike one. This game has been so tight, feels like the next team to score will win it. On the ground, right side. Lux tosses to first. Padres go down one, two, three. Nothing doing there for the Friars. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Bottom of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Jason Hayward. Pitch. That one finds the zone. Strike one. You know, these Dodgers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And the pitch. Fouled off to the right. Righty to the plate. 
drive, base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. And now it's Mookie now Betts. Yeah. One for two. Mookie. Yeah. First That's pitch ball. doesn't find the zone. And it's one and one. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. Last half of inning number five. That's in there. And it's one and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Just off the outside part of the plate. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. In the air, left field, down the line. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Now a high fly ball out to left center. On the move to the gap. One away. Now batter. So now oh, here's the DH. Shohei Otani. He's already homered in this game. Looked like it was a little bit up. Man at first, one away. Swings and misses. One ball. And the count one even at one. And the right hander deals. And a count one and two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. In the air, center field. Azokar in and to his right. He holds it in. Two away. Nothing instills more confidence in a team than a center fielder who makes a great play like that on the run. They can feed off the energy he brings just from his playmaking abilities. Freeman in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Line drive, and it stays fair. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks Matt Waldron comes on now, and he's coming at you with a knuckleball. First and third, two away. And now here is Gavin Lux. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. What a no. Hayward at third. Freeman at first, two out of the inning. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Glenn Otto, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Close, but called the ball. Now two balls and a strike. One strike. Two on, two outs. And strike two. Two on, two. Kicks and deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He's in a tough spot. Had to.
back here in L.A. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Jose Azokar. This to third, and he picks it up in foul territory. Right-hander kicks, deals. In the air, out to center. Outman moving under this one. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. One down. The batter number two. Second base. And here is Bogart. Xander Bogarts. Bogarts, multi-time All-Star, 31 years old, and he was born in Aruba. Oh. And takes low for ball one. Curveball oh. over for a called strike. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. And that's in for a strike. Fouls it off, still one and two. Struck him out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Hot young king. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. And first offering is fouled off. That's through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Three up, three down for him there. We go to the bottom half of inning number six. And the five, six, seven slots do up. All tied, 1-1. One, one. Bottom of the six, stepping in the long ball threat, Max Muncy. And here it comes. There's a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Glenn Otto appears to be getting loose. Out towards left center. Profar settles under it. He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. Now batting. Catcher. The batter now will be Will Smith. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Tied him up with the knuckler for the strikeout. Pretty much textbook pitching for the three-pitch K right there. Jumped ahead 0-2 on yeah. two pitches. He didn't want to go after at the play. Oh, then, knowing he's going to be a little more aggressive trying to protect, it expands just out of the zone where he couldn't do anything with it. He gets the strikeout and keeps the pitches thrown to a minimum. Very nice. Oh. Outman in the box again. Takes the strike. All tied up here in the bottom of the sixth. Right through there for a strike. Oh, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Nice. Swings and misses, struck him out. Nothing to And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. So digging. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, Joe Kelly. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Fall off foul. Here comes the 1 That's a slider for a strike. That 
ball just misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire. And out there on the mound, maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. Brings it in. And there's one away. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. And that's in there at the knees. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some pitchers. Broken bat, roller to first. Freeman steps on the bag. And a couple of quick outs. Luis Campusano now at the plate. Luis Campusano. That's in there. Strike one. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Ground ball, left side, Muncie. Fires across the diamond, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Set for the last half of the seventh, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Teoscar Hernandez. The wind of the pitch. Up and in, 1-0. and oh. Swing and a miss. One and one. Well, you know this guy wants to pitch up, something that he can hit hard and drive over the wall. But you've got to set your sights down a little bit. You can't lose your discipline and go after a pitch that you just can't do anything with. And a 1-2. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Jason Hayward steps right to the plate for the Dodgers. Hayward. That one fouled off. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Next offering is in for a strike. This is just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Strike three as he flails at the knuckler. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. So the lineup flips over. And now the shortstop, Mookie Betts. And a good eye there. One ball, no strike. Here's a strike. The shortstop takes the ball. Strike two. Right-handed reliever. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And good work. And we're back. We go to the eighth, and here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. And the right-hander back to work. On its way to the corner. And that lands in no man's land. A foul ball. And a pitch. Bounced out to short. In there Three. safely. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Jerks and Profar getting ready to hit. Ground ball to first, could be two. Freeman toss to second, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. I mean, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Now the DH for the Padres. Tucapita Marcano. And there's the strike. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. 
Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. The center field number 28. Jose Azucar, the next up for the Azucar. Padres. And right back to the mound. They take the horse out, third out. Padres leave one, still tied, 1-1. One, one. Back here at Chavez Ravine, ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now here's the Dodgers' designated hitter, Shohei Otani. And a big swing and a miss. Come on, one strike. And that's a strike. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Strike three as he flails at the knuckler. The first baseman. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Freeman. Swing and a miss. All tied up here. The bottom half of the eighth inning. And that is cut on and missed. And it's nothing in two. Oh, it's well, that knuckleball might have changed directions three, four, maybe even five times on its way to the court. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Seven in a row by way of the K. The batter. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Over three with two ground outs and a strikeout. And immediately pumps in a strike to the no left-handed hitter. One strike. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Got him swinging for the strikeout. He's now struck out. Back here at Dodger Stadium. All set. J.P. Fireisen will take over here. This is his fifth appearance of the year. And fouled off. At the belt and fires. That one to first. And Freeman, the gold glover, makes the play. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Kim in the box now. Takes strike one. Some hitters are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Next offering is in for a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Righty to the plate. Goes down looking. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter in the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Here's Machado with a swing. That one well hit. Deep left field. And it's gone. Home run. He sends it out of here third home run of the season and the Padres take the lead it's 2-1 he only needed one swing to square it up not wasting any time in that at bat Boog aggressive and it paid off with a low 90s fastball you have to live on the edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient waited for it it was like BP all over again and the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Oh, that one. one finds the zone. Strike one. Fell on the mound. This is a spot where he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the home Ooh. run. Forget about now being oh, behind on the right. scoreboard. Start fresh and get those hitters back up to the plate as quickly as possible. Two outs. Got him swinging. Slider got him for strike three. And some late inning drama here in the ninth as this homer gives them the lead. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. We're back. And on the mound is the closer, Aniel De Los Santos. He's been so good against lefties. And he deals. 
Muncy, That's the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Home well plate umpires try to tighten things up a little bit. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Swing and a miss. Two and one. And it's two and one. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big-time velo on the bump and big-time pop at the plate. And that one is lifted in the air. Azokar has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. That's a big first out right there, and that changes things. Yeah, you can kind of see how just the hope and optimism is shrunk a little bit, but they got a couple more outs to work with. They got to find a way to get a runner on and get one around the bases. Smith, the next to hit, takes ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. timed it up any better than that just a cookie down the middle I mean those are the ones you dream about the ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game right down the middle not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it now here is James Outman Kim off balance speed there's one that's a double play the ball game is over and your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.